everyone. Welcome to my channel. My name is Danielle. I am a writer. I'm a reader. I'm a student. And this week, I wanted to do the writer's bucket list tag. This tag was originally started by Le Leora Sophie. She is another author tuber. She has made some amazing videos. I highly encourage you to watch her and I will link her stuff down below. Also, thank you so much for 100 subscribers. I'm so thankful for everyone who has decided to subscribe. Because of that, I wanted to do a giveaway. And this giveaway is not going to be one word, just one person or a few people when this is gonna be. As long as you enter, you are getting something in return. So everyone wins. So please, I will be leaving details at the end of this video on how to enter. But yeah, let's just get started in the tag. So the first question is which famous author would you love to have read and comment on your work. First reaction is to say Mary Lou. I don't know if you know this, but I am quite the fan. I don't know if I would love to have Mary Lou comment on my work unless it was outright praise. The woman that I have idolized throughout my entire teenage life. I would like to have my book blurb. If she were to actually be like a critique partner, I would crumble. Samantha Shannon, she wrote Priory of the Orange Tree. I love her book. I love the world building. It was fantastic, love it. And number two is what is the ultimate compliment someone could give you on your writing? I don't know. I mean, I don't take compliments that well. I feel like most of the compliments that I've always enjoyed have been ones where I can tell what I'm doing is working. That always makes me feel really proud. Number three, Three, what would you like from your fans, fan art, fanfics, etc.? I would love to have fan art of my characters for the specific fact that a lot of them are brown. And I feel like the main point for me isn't necessarily about the I am so incredibly grateful that you enjoyed my work enough to justify hours of your time making beautiful and compelling art. Yes, that is quite a large part. My characters that are loved to be drawn the way that they are, they are brown, they are disabled, my characters be that representation for the little me that could read a book that she liked and see fan art of people that resembled her or her family. Are there any contest awards bestseller list you want to be on and what are they? I feel like everyone says the New York Times. That's quite obvious. I would say Amazon bestseller, but I feel like we all know that it's so easy to be an Amazon bestseller that it's like it's ridiculous. Everyone loves the man booker. I love the man booker. I don't know if I will ever write fancy enough for the man booker, but one can hope. Maybe I'll go into writing like actual literary fiction novels. Do you want to publish your work? Which work in progress are you most excited to get out into the world? The La Divina novel. I am so incredibly excited about that. I've been working on that novel since I was freaking 12. <laughs> so it's been a hot second, right? That is one that I am most excited to publish in general. However, a lot of my focus has been on my chapbook happening next year and it's pretty much July already. That freaks me out. In short, what I'm most excited in general, the La Divina novel. What I am most excited as of right now, my chapbook. Do you want to be traditionally published and what is your dream publisher? Very much lean towards the idea of self-publishing. That is to say that I am not hard ruled against traditional publishing, absolutely not. Maybe one day. However, as of right now, it comes to my fantasy novels, I'm thinking self-publish and when it comes to my chapbook, I am very much leaning towards self-publish. However, if I were to be traditionally published, what are some of my dream publishers? One of the big five, obviously, is what everyone says, Simon Schuster, uh, Penguin Random House, all of that. Do you want to publish independently? And what is your goal as an indie author? Funny you say that. I am actually, as of right now, planning to publish independently when it comes to my chapbook and also my La Divina novel. My goal as an indie author, as of right now, is to make a part-time living. That isn't just applying to book sales. That's also applying to, hopefully, one day YouTube, blogs, that kind of thing. Which genres have you never written in that you'd like to try? I've recently been on a little bit of a horror binge recently. I have been reading all of Nick Cutter's stuff. Fantastic man. Love all his stuff. Tender is the flesh. is like a dystopian horror. One of my favorite things about writing specifically is psychic distance and atmosphere. Horror just so happens to be a genre that utilizes both of those writing tools to make an incredible and rich 
story that is going to scare the pants off of your readers. I have read a lot of horror books that have not scared me, double onto the fact that I'm not that scared of a lot of things. So I feel like it would be a fun challenge to write horror, but a manageable one. I love a good rom-com book, who doesn't? And I feel like it would also be incredibly interesting going through the experience of writing a rom-com book when I am on the asexual spectrum. I've always included like asexual representation. However, writing in a genre that seems to be the antithesis of asexuality, I think it would be interesting. Do you want to write full time? Yes, that is the dream. I don't know if I'll ever get there, but crossing my fingers, try my best and it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. Would you want to co-author with someone and who? No, I do not want to co-author. I mean, there's always a dream of like, oh my gosh, I would love to co-write with like Rick Riordan or something like that. Me and Rick aren't on the same writing level, <laughs> like the same marketing platform level, obviously. Not to say that I'm against the idea of co-authoring or that I will never co-author in the future. If I do, I do. However, as of right now, I find it difficult to find the ability to trust someone to co-author with. People are so full of shit. Would you like your work adapted for audio or screen, movie or TV, and which work? A novelist with the dream of write of your work being adapted to a movie? Why don't you just become a screenwriter? Like that that never made sense to me. I'm just cynical. And if I ever became successful enough to even consider the idea of signing a movie deal, I'm jumping over the moon already. The artistic point. The book is always better than the movie. So that's why I'm hesitant. I'm thinking of my La Divina novel and series after that. There are both fantasy. I feel like they would both work really well when it comes to TV. Because I feel like fantasy movies are hit or miss. Fantasy TV shows, however, Game of Thrones, The Witcher, fantastic, fantastical TV shows. Which languages would you like to see your work translated into? I would want to see my work translated into Tagalog so that my family members who can't speak English can read it. Oh my god, that made my heart hurt. And of course me writing a fantasy book inspired by the Philippines and it being translated into Tagalog when I am Filipino. The Panay pride that would consume my heart. Tagalog, obviously, and also Spanish. I mean, Spanish is the second most spoken language in the US. I could read, write, understand, and kind of speak Spanish. Incredible to be able to read my own book in my second language. Do you want to be famous? Describe a scenario that illustrates how famous you want to be. I think I just associate the word famous with like negative terms. Do I want to be famous for fame's sake? No, but I want to be famous for the sake of the practicality of being able to live sustainably off of my books? Such a boring answer. I want to be able to confidently walk in any bookstore and nine times out of 10, they will have my books and I can just say, I'm an author. I wanna sign some of my books here. Neil Gaiman energy. Where slash on what platform would you like to be interviewed about your work? Book tour, panel, talk show. I feel like a book tour. Again, one of those huge milestones. You're being paid to travel. And yes, you're working the whole time, but you can also like go see Pittsburgh while you're there. I would also like to be on a book panel specifically about the identities that I personally experience. What is a writing or book related event that you would like to participate in as an author? BookCon seems fun. I would love to be in BookCon. What kind of effect would you like your writing to have on your readers or the world? To touch their heart on a personal level. If I am able to help someone feel more comfortable in their own skin, and if they read my fantasy books and they are able to take a break from the stressful world that we live in, I am so incredibly grateful and blessed to have the opportunity to share my work with you. Do you want your work taught in classrooms? Maybe my poetry and my short fiction. I feel like my short fiction and my poetry are definitely more suited to what people think of when it comes to a literature class. That sounds incredibly arrogant, I'm aware. They're more lit fic than genre fiction, is what I'm trying to say. Especially since my poetry dives into a lot of topics that could very easily be a part of a lit class's curriculum. I can definitely see a teacher having like Asian American literature section and then yeah. What are some of your goals for your author platform? I found this tag like last week and I was actually going to say 100 subscribers, but I just got 100 subscribers. So thank you guys so much. I am so incredibly grateful. All gushy, mushy feelings. I'm mostly focused on YouTube as a 
right now obviously you take up most of my time because i care about you the most next goal after a hundred is a thousand right because then you can start monetizing your content and then you can get a whopping 22 cents from youtube youtube doesn't cheat their creators right I, it's the idea of it and like i said i've been doing youtube for four years now so 1000 subscribers is the next milestone for me it took me four years to get to 100 subscribers so that means i just need four times nine so it'll just take me 36 years i'm kidding i know that for the most part platforms grow exponentially a thousand people subscribe to my mailing list that's pretty baller what are 10 things you hope to accomplish in your writing career i'll just give you one goal one and only goal is to make my parents proud i want my parents to be able to proudly say that my daughter is a writer and they can hold my book and i can tell that they are proud of me especially for a career that they originally discouraged me from going into it's not in a way haha you're wrong i can support you i can take care of you while doing something i love and that is the dream being able to just make them proud and being able to also say i know that you didn't think that this would be a viable option for me but it is and thank you for giving me the opportunity to do this everyone wants to make their parents proud but i feel like it hits especially close to home for children of immigrants you know <laughs> what i mean it's a little bit deeper while i have all of these goals to like get to a thousand subscribers on youtube to sell 100 copies of my book those are all fantastic however those are all stepping stones to lead to the goal being able to make my parents proud <laughs> I'm not getting warm, you're getting warm. I don't know what you mean. Number 20, what is the most inconceivable dream you would love to see happen with your writing? I have family living in LA, especially, especially Glendale, and we would oftentimes go to Americana. I would love to go to that Barnes & Noble with my family on just like an afternoon evening while we're waiting before going into a movie, and they see my book on the shelf. One of my cousins picks up the book and says, this is Ate Danny's book. <laughs> Guess what time of the month it is. I'm getting really emotional. Are there any milestones you've already hit in your writing career? Obviously, I got my work published. I can say that I'm a published writer now. Poetry, I've published fiction in lit mags, journals, anthologies, that kind of thing. I have my own website and I have my own domain name. I have a hundred subscribers on YouTube. Oh my gosh! right that's <laughs> i'm so incredibly thankful for you guys to be here speaking of that hundred subscribers let's talk about that giveaway now shall we so the surprise is going to be a free critique of about five thousand words or less and if you're going to send me poetry please send me no more than five poems the max at 10 pages like original fiction poetry i already told you that it could be fan fiction wattpad doesn't matter all you have to do to apply is to drop your email in the first link down below that's going to be my mailing list and with that same email send me your piece and i will happily critique it for you and additionally i will be sharing your work on here mind you i'm not going to be sharing a literal copy of your story i will be taking out like bits and pieces i might put like a paragraph or two kind of provide context not just for you but specifically the audience watching me critique your work and the deadline to give me anything will be on july 11th depending on how many people submit their work i am hoping to upload that critique video on either july 25 or august 1 i will of course reiterate everything in a newsletter coming up i would love to read your work thank you guys so much for 100 subscribers i cannot reiterate enough how incredibly thankful i am and i'm hoping to post videos every monday at 5 p.m pacific standard time and yeah